so excited. It is time for Seattle Sips, where we check out some amazing drinks and a couple snacks in our area. Yeah, and we're joined by Jeet Singh and Jordan White with Rasai. Welcome. Hello. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming <laughs> in. So for anyone who isn't familiar with Holi, tell us what this festival is all about. So uh, the Holi Festival is about celebrating the oncoming of spring. So in this festival, uh, it's the Festival of Colors. Yes. So typically people celebrate, they throw like colored powders in the air. They have this concept of a water gun. So what they do is they mix uh, water with the colors and sort of spray it on each other. There's this <laughs> element of fun that's going on during that time. Yeah, I would say it is a very joyful time. And anytime I watch videos or see pictures, and, and Versailles, the restaurant located at Fremont, and looking at your Instagram, it, it is also in itself very colorful and joyful. Tell me about that. Yeah, so our whole uh, concept of Progressive Indian is uh, taking ingredients you don't associate with Indian cuisine at all and doing a modernist uh, take on it. Because uh, Indian food is very vibrant, colorful, flavorful. So using local ingredients, using you know whatever this coast has to offer to us, we're able to take a spin and modernize that. And what are some of the flavors we'll be tasting with, with the people come to your restaurant? So flavors wise, uh, you should look for more fun, more like flavors that like, like I said, are exotic, but at the same time, uh, are plated really well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay, so we are going to be seeing you guys launch March 19th, your rotating seasonal menu. Uh, what is that experience going to be like? You even have something here for us, huh? Yes, of course. So to talk about the experience, uh, it will be a seasonal rotating, uh, a five course and a seven course. So we will be introducing a tasting menu only concept in Seattle. Um, and what we have is we will have a fun take on approachable, fun dining, neo-Indian cuisine. So we will be uh, featuring a tasting menu that will have flavors from all parts of India, but like plated with precision. Yeah, what do we have here today? So this is a transparent chaat. Chaat literally means to lick, but uh, it's a street side classic. Um, so here we have a uh, transparent chop. So we have a potato starch uh, foil and inside we have uh, mint and tamarind uh, caviars and this concept of bail in there. So, Beautiful. And served with uh, lentil crisp on the bottom. Am I able to give that a try? Of course. But awesome. there's a Ooh. sensory. Ooh, part let's to do it. it. So, uh, to enhance your taste buds, to enhance the smell factor, we're going to be using. Uh, this this is to give sort of the smell of like an Indian street side. Beautiful. Let's so, do it. Yeah, and we're using some dry ice for effect. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Pour some in. I so, love the presentation. Yeah, a little <clears throat> a little smokiness. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, definitely. So cool. Oh, beautiful. And you can hear Let's it too. Smell, it's really awesome. You can hear it. And while oh Maria gosh. gets ready to try yeah. that, why don't we get started making the cocktails? Give it a shot. What are we making? What do you think? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's like That's a burst, winner. Is it? A burst of flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we're doing a couple of fun drinks for you today. Um, the first one is the Purple Skies. Uh, mm -hmm. This is actually a clarified milk punch. Um, so I've already pre-batched it and kind of gotten it ready for you, but I'll show you the process. Um, first, we're starting off with some uh, blue butterfly PT gin. Um, we're featuring an Indian spirit called Gin Gigi. Um, really lovely gin. Uh, we're gonna basically build a punch and then clarify it with milk. Um, then we're adding our creme de violette. And what's that? Uh, this is basically a violet liqueur. Okay. It's really beautiful, bright purple. Um, smells like springtime. Oh. I feel like we get to learn about so many different liqueurs that I've never heard of before doing this job. This is exciting. <laughs> and what are you putting in now? A uh, little apricot liqueur um, and a little simple syrup. Nice. Of course. Well, sugar for good measure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can't go wrong. And you guys have a lot of different popular drinks on the menu, too. Yeah, of course. What do we have here? 
uh, just a little lemon juice to add mm -hmm. some acidity to it. Now, while you shake that all together, can we give it a try here? Yeah, of course. Enjoy. Awesome. All right, tell me what it's Here's. called one more time. Oh, it comes with a big ice cube. That is the Purple Skies. Purple Sky. Oh, I love that. That's dangerous. I could drink a lot of those. Oh. <laughs> That's it really is dangerous. Mm. It's like perfectly sweet, perfect tasty, tasty, delicious. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, but it there is some booze in here, y'all. <laughs> and then what's the name of this other one that you made too? Uh, that is the Citrus Royale. Citrus Royale. So that is a saffron infused vodka, uh, a little good. kumquat Ooh. syrup, mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, lemon juice, and there's a little cilantro oil. Over Ooh. There. I love that too. Very nice. I'm gonna give it a little sip here. Mm -hmm. That one is so yummy. Mm -hmm. mm. So beautiful job, Thank you guys. so much, yes. Jesus yes. Jordan. You yes. are the best. And be sure you check out Rasai in Fremont. They're gonna keep working. We're gonna keep hanging, and we have more <laughs> info on our website, fox13seattle.com/studio13live.